This is the VexVR uh, coding tutorial for Sweep the Castle, uh, really level one and two in this video. Uh, what you're going to notice, I have the dynamic Castle Crasher Playground open. And what's unique about this is every time you hit the refresh key, you get a different arrangement of boards. I believe there's 10 different uh, boards that will randomly populate. So what you're going to do for this one is basically choose one board uh, for the first level one. And you're just going to do a basic linear program uh, to knock off these blocks. So uh, you're not looking at any uh, in-depth functions or uh, looping structures unless you want to. Uh, but it's very similar to what we've written before. So I will not be uh, writing level one for this. You can go back and reference the previous video uh, to figure out how to choose a board and uh, complete this. And that would be in the Storm the Castle videos. So it worked very similar to what level one would work on this one. Let's talk about level two now. Level two, if we look at it, asks us to create an algorithm that will clear uh, three different playgrounds with a uh, project modification. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at creating something that's going to repeatedly clear no matter what board comes up or at least three different boards comes up. So just like the previous ones, I can tell that I don't have walls on this one in this playground. So I'm going to do that same until red function that I've written in the past. Uh, it might be a little different in this one, but we're going to use that until red function. And what I know I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to drive forward in this function. Now, just like the previous functions that we've written, when do we want to drive forward till? Well, we want to drive forward until our down I meets red. So down I detects red. I'm just going to move that board over. Now, what do I want to happen? Well, I want to make sure I actually push the block off. So I'm going to do something a little differently in this one. And I'm going to reverse myself. So I'm going to drive in reverse, maybe a short distance, something like 500 millimeters, which is a quarter of a square. It could be more, it could be less. And I'm going to drive forward again, 100 millimeters, which definitely puts me in the red now, but it doesn't put me off the board. Uh, to give that final little push. Then I can reverse myself into the board again. Uh, again, we'll go back a little bit more, a square plus that 100 millimeters that we went forward. And then we're going to stop ourselves from driving. So that'll cause my robot to drive forward when it sees red back up, push again to get that block off, and then reverse and stop driving to reset itself. Now, because I'm really not worried about turn radius or anything on this, I'm just going to go full out 100% uh, of my drive velocity to really get that momentum going in my robot. And again, because I'm not worried about time on this one, just like my vacuum robot we wrote before, I can have this occur forever. So I'm going to loop this forever. So I'm going to grab an if uh, else structure. And what I want to do is I'm just going to turn right at whatever heading I'm already at. Because again, I'm randomly walking through this board uh, to, to create this algorithm. So we can take a look and let's set up our if structure. Now, if we sense something in front of us, so we're going to use that sensor. Uh, where is that distance found sensor here? If we find an object in front of us, right? We're going to run our function. We're going to run that red function. So again, this is a simple program. Not exactly sure if it's going to work. Uh, might need some modifications and tweaks. Uh, I'm going to do another video because if we're running out of time to show the way this program runs and any modifications we've made to it. 